This model from Conrad comes in a standard Conrad style box with just a label at the end telling you what's inside. Inside the protection is the foam backed cardboard that Conrad likes to use and it protects the model well. There's no instructions about the model or information about the real machine. And the contents consist of the Actros tipper and there's a small bag of parts which we'll use as a load for the tipper. And the only other thing in the box is the two axle trailer. As usual with a Conrad truck model, there's an early opportunity to practice your knife skills. And once you've separated the parts, you can fit them on and we'll start with the door mirrors on the cab. They just press into the cab and because of their design, it's not possible to install them upside down. There's another small mirror and that just goes over the door on the passenger side. The other thing to add are the roof aerials and fitting all these parts is easy enough as long as you have small enough fingers. If you've got fingers the size of toilet rolls, you might find it a bit challenging. Starting with the truck, the chassis is good enough, it's got a fully modelled plastic transmission and the steering axle tyres are wider than those at the rear. The wheels also look good because they're nice and detailed, complete with wheel nuts. The roof has large beacon lights and the door mirrors have a texture and the headlights also have plastic lenses, but there's no number plate because this is a generic vehicle. Although the cab decoration is plain, there are nice plastic inserts for the door handles. Behind the cab, the chassis is modelled in metal and that includes the diamond plated wheel arches. At the back, the detail is at a simpler level, with the rear lights painted. The tipper body has got some detailing along the bottom edges to indicate the side opening panels, and there are no graphics other than the Mylar nameplate. The trailer is fairly simple, it's got a metal chassis with some tanks and the suspension detailed. The wheel arches are plastic, and again the lights at the rear are painted. The trailer's tipper body is an exact repeat of the tipper body on the Actros truck. Milo is a German company and it was founded in 1850 and it's still family run. It employs around 1500 people and Conrad have modelled a few Milo tipper designs. And Milo tipper bodies are also popular with some other model makers. Moving out onto the test track, the Actros truck rolls on quite well. The rear axles have a reasonable amount of float that represents suspension. But the thing these Conrad trucks are always good at is the steering and you can get a very good angle on the steering on this truck. And with a very hard lock it pushes along just fine with no fouling of the wheels. The model moves along very silently so you wonder if it does have an engine but you can tilt the cab and there is a detailed engine underneath. But the main feature of the truck is the tipper body and that tips normally in the end tip mode. It is quite stiff but it raises up to a good angle and it will hold any pose that you want to set. At the rear the tailgate opens but it's not completely free swinging. So that demonstrates the conventional tipping mode of the tipper and that works well. But the more interesting feature is that these are freeway tippers so the sides can be dropped on each side. And then by carefully lifting on one side you can tilt the tipper up in a sideways motion. And this is cleverly engineered by Conrad because it's robust and it works very well. The model does this by having sockets on the tipper which engage with ball joints on the chassis. And as long as you lift the tipper body in the correct place, it will mirror one of three different tipping actions. So let's now have a look at the trailer and the first thing to note is that it rolls along pretty well too. And there is a kind of suspension on both of the axles with quite a good range of movement. And there's a simple landing leg at the front which just pulls down and that provides stability to the trailer if it's not attached to the truck. In terms of the tipper body, it performs just the same as the body on the truck. It tilts in three dimensions and just in case you didn't believe me, here it is tipping in a sideways motion. And all in all, the trailer is a nicely engineered piece of modelling. Anyway, just like a boyfriend and a girlfriend, the truck and trailer are tired of being apart, so let's get them hitched up. The eye on a tow bar just presses into the hitch on the truck and it's all joined up and works well. Well, here on Cranes Etc, we always like to dish the dirt, so let's give it a real life test with tipping some sand from the truck. And we'll do this in a sideways tipping mode. And because of the great skill of the operator, it smoothly tips and discharges its load. So let's also try an unloading test on the trailer. And for that, we'll go tipping over the back so we can smoothly raise the body. And we do need to open up the tailgate, but when that's done, 
all of the sand just pops out nice and smoothly. This is a nice truck and trailer model from Conrad. It looks clean and smart and the details are at a good level, but it's the functionality of the tippers which sets it apart. And they've done a very good job to implement the freeway tipping. So overall, it's highly recommended. Mm -hmm.